advice? I hope that that will give them the world of confidence, um, but it only starts collectively with, with hard work and application. And I think because it was Bolton Wanderers and because Bolton are a, a top class side, the focus of the players was that much more in, intense. You know, and I asked them beforehand, I said, if anyone falls asleep, you know, the quality of players that Bolton have, their drop balls behind you, their side people across the front of you. So you have to be focused all the time and track your runners and, and communicate. And for the base, the majority of the game, I think we managed that quite well. I know during the second period, we rode our luck on many occasions and, you know, luck being a lady tonight, as they say. So, you know, we're, we're grateful for, for that. I think we had some nice interplay on the right-hand side, a couple of nice one-touches between Keith and, and Pascal and Frankie coming out of defence and then moving it up the wing. And Pascal hit a great early cross across. And, you know, it's a great one by Mike to the near post, leaving Matt clear free at the far post. I was urging him from the sideline to have a touch because he had that much time. But Matt's the type of confident player. He could he strike things first time all day long. And, we're grateful and he's, you know, he's a good finisher. I've had a couple seasons where I've scored a couple goals, but this definitely is the one that's the most memorable. You know, it's, it's against the top, one of the top APL teams in the, in, the, in the world, you know, and England's a top league. And to come out and to score against them, you know, alone is good. Any English Premier League team or any team at that is good, but against a team of that caliber is unbelievable. You know, our goal was to, to get on a winning streak for the last 16 games and, you know, including this one. And, um, you know, that's four in a row for us, no losses. So, you know, it's, we're looking on the better side of things now. You know, we're, we're working our way up in the league, you know, so looking forward to going to Edmonton and playing, hopefully winning, getting to win three points. Well, I've got to say it was a fantastic experience. I mean, everything that we, we came here to, to get, we knew it'd be a tough game. We knew that uh, it'd be demanding physically. And, uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed the exercise. Could have scored six, seven goals, no doubt about that. But uh, and ultimately, Tampa scored a very good goal. So credit to them. I thought they worked their socks off. And I felt the game was played in the right, uh, the right spirit, the right atmosphere. And uh, yeah, it, it, was a, it was a good night's work. We're obviously disappointed, as you always are, to lose any game. But we have to put that into context. I mean, we trained, <laughs> trained this morning again because we're here for fitness. But there was a lot to be pleased about. But gradually, as I've said before, I always equate pre-season with a ladder and starting on the, the bottom rung in terms of fitness. And we have to move up those, uh, those rungs of the ladder. And tonight, we, you know, we did move up one or two.